Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, April the 27th, I believe, 2020. Let me check my calendar. I lose track of time while we're on vacation. No, it's April 28th, 2020. And during the school closure, I'm losing track of time. So I am here today with you in my apartment. And I'm hoping my connectivity on my wireless is going to be working strong and I don't freeze on you. Um, but if I do, I apologize and I will get back off and record it and come back on and, and load it. But welcome. I wanted to go over our pose that we're go doing today and it's called the mermaid pose. It's a little bit diff more difficult than the other ones, I think, even though we're sitting. There you are. It is a good picture of it. And let me read the directions. It says, start on your hands and knees. Bring one knee forward behind your hand. So you'll see that knee right there behind your hands. Lower yourself to sitting and allow your front leg to fall open, resting your outer shin on your mat. Keep your back leg bent. Lift your hand on the side of your front leg up to the sky and rest your other hand on your back leg. So there's the picture again. And that's the mermaid pose. I live in Norfolk, so I love this pose because it's a mermaid, and the, the um, mascot for Norfolk is mermaid, so I love this one. The book I've chosen today is called Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Rees. So giraffes can't dance. And you may not know this about me, but giraffes are one of my favorite things, and I'm adjusting my screen, and I'm sorry because there's a glare on my picture, so hopefully you'll be able to see them. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. You can see there's pictures of him trying to run around. Look what he was really good at, standing tall and eating the leaves. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really, really bad. Look at Gerald's. Here is Gerald. Look at his face. He's looking sad. I do not like the way this screen is on a book. There it is. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. If you were listening closely, you may have heard a rhyming word in there. Did you say rolled and bold? Those are your rhyming words. The chimps did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons and teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. So there's the chimps doing a cha-cha and the doing out. What were the what were the baboons? They were doing a splendid Scottish reel. I couldn't remember what it said. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze. He was rooted to the spot. The righty thought I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. There he is. So sad. Look at that poor Gerald. He was walking home. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon could be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald early on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Ooh. 
listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. There's Gerald dancing. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. And then he did a backward somersault and kept them in the air. Hope you're listening to those rhyming words. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Look at that face. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance a while, arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. He must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald suddenly twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. The end. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoy my story today. And just like um, Gerald, I hope you find the music that makes you happy and makes you a good dancer. Um, so I hope you boys and girls come back on Thursday and listen to my other story. And be good to your parents or your uh, grandparents, whoever's at the house with you during the school closure. And know that I love you and I miss you.